In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a blinking effect by animating a gradient emission node value in Eevee. I'll show you how the primary mesh was created. Let's press Shift, 8, to create a teapot. If you don't see that in the menu, please activate an add-on called Extra Objects. Control, 1, to subdivide. Let's apply the subsurf modifier. We need to create a cube, and scale it down like this. Shift select the teapot, and control, P, to parent. Vertices instancing is what we need. Control, A, to make instances real, and type, M, to put them into a new collection. We can remove the original teapot. I have created a UV sphere, and scaled it bigger than the teapot to use it as the background. The sphere has a default BSDF material. This is what I have assigned for the teapot mesh. Basically, it's a gradient material as usual, but it's connected to the emission and BSDF mix nodes along with the layer weight node. For this scene, I'm using Eevee with the bloom setting turned on. For the lighting, I'm using the default HDRI. I'll show you how the blinking animation was done. I have set the last frame to 100, and animated the emission node's value as 8 at frame 0, 50, and 100. And on frame 25 and 75, I have set the emission value to 0, to completely turn off the node. It's difficult to animate the node from the shading tab, so it's better to go to the layout and animate the values from here. Again, the end frame is set to 100. Frame 0, 50, and 100 has the emission values set to 8. On frame 25 and 75, the emission value is set to 0. There is our blinking effect.
This is the end of the tutorial. Thank you for watching.